Hey everybody, this is Dawn and Jesse. We're where we're gonna set up our camp. And um, I tried to demonstrate this last time we were out, but it was just too windy. Right now we have the orange emergency blanket and the green one. Then we have this Velcro strip all down the side, one side of each of them sewn on. And we're going to Velcro them together and make a lean-to type shelter and set it up right over there by the tree. So we're going to get it started and then we're going to show it to you guys so you see what we use for a setup. Um, this was one of our modifications I talked about in a video last week, but I wanted to be able to demonstrate how we do it. This is how we have it for individual use and now we're going to set it up as uh, one big piece and the uh, shelter. So stay with us and we'll show it to you in a bit here. We're going to get it set up. Just want to show you guys what I just showed her. Um, I brought the paracord through the loop and tied it around a stick. See, then the stick goes and the knot goes against the grommet instead of uh, tying the rope through the grommet and making a knot because then it puts too much uh, stress and tension on that grommet, you know, and it'll tear out a lot faster. So if we do it that way, the stick holds it in place. You can let go. The stick holds it in place and it doesn't put any wear on the grommet, right? Yep. Okay, so now you can hold this. I'm gonna walk over here and we're gonna try tying it to the tree. Go ahead and hit pause and we'll show them after I get it tied up, okay? Okay. What you doing there, Miss Jessica? Using your mora knife? What are you doing with your mora knife? Cutting off branches. Cutting off those little branches because we're going to make two poles for the front of our shelter, right? Yep. I got one just about ready and you're working on that one? Yep. Okay. We'll have them ready to go up in just a minute. Okay, we got this set up the best we can for right now. Um, the wind keeps kicking up and blowing everything but you guys get the basic idea along the back ridge they're velcroed together what? okay guys we got this up the best we can um, the wind blew and flapped and our stakes went flying I don't know where they went for the bottom part uh, as you can see along the back line um, yeah this isn't working well today the wind is blowing like crazy it keeps switching directions and no matter where we put this it's wrong so um anyway along the back in the middle the two are velcroed together they make one giant sheet for a lean-to shelter and the premise is out here where i'm standing would be where the fire pit is and then the reflective side of these would draw that heat right in and you would be more than toasty in there i mean if it was severe winter weather, you would throw a sheet of plastic over the top and seal it in as a super shelter and boil to death. 
as long as you have a fire out here, right, Jess? Yeah. So what we did was uh, we put a, a stick through here on the corners, um, you know, on the rope, just to so the rope isn't have all the pressure on the grommet. It's on the stick, and then we tied it around and tied it off there. We staked down the four corners, but like I said, we lost one of the pegs here. Stake down in the back and then uh, same thing on this side so you know it makes a nice big shelter and Jesse and I can both fit in there if we and we always have this rolled up in my backpack so if we ever got into an emergency situation we can configure this in a multitude of uh, shel different types of shelters I can even make a tent with it that we can both get into so um, this is, I just wanted to show it to you guys so you had an idea of the modifications that I made. I'm going to go ahead and whittle some, not today, but at when I get home, some big hardy stakes for this. I'm also going to add more grommets along the edge here on each side. I'm going to put two more on each side. I'm going to put four across the front, two more on the side, and I might put a couple in the back because one thing I learned today from this wind is uh practice shows you what you need to do to make things right and uh those changes definitely are going to need to be made so we can get this stake down better so that was a good learning lesson for us today wasn't it jess yes so uh anyway so we're gonna go and check our um our birch sap and see how that's doing and uh clean this up and have ourselves some birch sap drink right yep i think we earned it today yep. we got a lot of stuff done so all right well thanks for watching and we'll get back to you with the birch sap stuff and let you know how that went